Hey dudes. Today I want to show you how to create a new workspace that will allow you to search for sound effects in Pro Tools. So let's jump right into it and make today a quick video. Let's go to Window, New Workspace, Default. Then we'll click on this plus sign here, which will add a searchable area. And then we can go over to Locations, click this little check and make it green. And then we can simply just locate our sound effects folder. So mine is here called FX Library. I do recommend that you have your sound effects in one central location. Partly for this reason, it's just generally good organization to keep it in one place so that you keep all of your sound effects for all of your projects. But this is also going to be a great tool for us to be able to search in one place. So after that, we can just pick whatever parameters we want. But a classic search would be any text column contains. So let's say rain. And you can then hit this little play button to preview. It's nice, but you know, maybe something a little bit more chill. Yeah, like light rain on plants. That's pretty chill. Yeah. Cool. So then all you got to do is hover over the clip with the hand grabber and click and drag it into whatever track and whatever place you want it to be. That simple. Uh, a couple things you can do from here. If you lose that window, don't create a new one over and over. Just go back to workspaces, bring to front. Sometimes I like to kind of just maybe move that to there and then just open up Pro Tools slightly like that so I can kind of click back and forth between them if I need them. And I can, you know, grab another sound if I need to. Yeah, that is, that's a lot heavier. That's a good description there. So drag this in. And you'll notice that if I'm going to drag a two track or stereo recording into mono tracks, it'll automatically try to split it into two pieces. So you see those two yellow outlined boxes. Or if I drag it into a stereo track, it's showing me that it's the two tracks in the one stereo file, so the left and right side of it. So up to you, sometimes you might want something mono. Let's say I did want this mono, I could probably just drag it into two mono tracks like this, and then probably just delete one side or something like that. So we can clean this up a little bit, maybe make them exactly the same length, like they're gonna be a background or something. And there you have it. Pretty simple stuff. All right, so that's it. Hopefully that's really easy for you to set up and also really, really useful, especially as your sound effects library starts growing in size and things become harder and harder to find. Don't worry about it. Just put it through the search function, hit search, find what you want, drag it in, bada boom, you're good to go. Now keep in mind this method does not copy the files into your audio files folder. So when you're done with this, make sure you do a save copy in if you're gonna send this to somebody else. But otherwise, if you're working on your own machine, it's gonna link to your central sound effects library and you'll be good to go. All right, I hope you get to use this on all your future projects and it comes in handy. Until next time, later dudes.